Hello friend, welcome back to more strange examples. Uh, we're gonna start with this one in Ethiopia. Uh, the last strange examples on episode or video was uh, kind of long and drawn out. This one I'll try and be a little briefer. Uh, I'll make an effort at least and uh, I'll try and keep it under an hour, hour and a half maybe. Um, okay, let's go. Ethiopia, so we have these stone walls and stone circles in uh, odd shapes, kind of haphazard shapes, these arrays of grids and uh, uh, lines and um, and then the patchiness in the uh, inside these circles which is modern at least in some cases and what we're dealing with with these uh, these lines and walls it's basically just like this like st uh, rock piles low walls of stacked rocks so let's go over to over to google earth and check it out so it's it's this area of ethiopia and we're going to go through these this group of place marks so um random wonky grids so this, this is pretty much what we're dealing with there you go um and people do settle inside of these things uh i'm just saying that these are not all purposeful and um, yeah but the the extent of it is pretty vast that's the the main thing I want to uh, communicate um, irregular grids and let's take a quick look back see if they change over time oh, oh we got us 2012 and Damn it, all the fucking dick balls, they're new. <laughs> God damn it. What in the fuck? I'm tripping balls right now. Okay, so I guess these are new. Shit. Okay, well, duds are duds. I'm a dud. Um, patchiness, yes, this patchiness is modern. I learned that a moment ago. Um, it's looking like uh see how it's kind of washed out here in 2012 2014 looks like it's been redone so yeah the um lots of circles how about these ones are these ones new these ones are new as well all right unless they've been photoshopped out which i don't think is necessarily likely uh, then these are new phenomenon that I should, uh, figure out before looking at the video, or making the video. Um, 2012, these ones, still there, okay, and just showing you the scale of it. Many more stone circles. Real quick look back. Uh, it's only giving me today. Uh, 1984. No resolution. Struggling with the uh, older photos. Um, so this is an example of the stone circles. I wonder if these are distinct from these rectangular patches. Um, this stone circle, let's see, these looking like they were there in 2012. And then these appear in 2014. So once again, I'll just... Um, postulate or uh, hypothesize that um, there's a chance that these stone circles and walls and arrays are um, part of an ongoing uh, rock building, uh, rock wall, stone circle building thing. But uh, I would say that's only about 5% chance. More than likely, these are modern something or other. You know what I mean? Just 
just uh, enclosures for agriculture or uh, whatever people are doing. Let's see this one. See, this is here, 2012, and then there's an expansion of it. Um, I'm sure uh, a few minutes of research would uh, help me parse that out, but um, for now, I guess we'll just assume that they are, at least over here, they are um, modern. Okay, that's that. Twenty twelve, not there. Okay. All right, let's go to a different example. Papua. I've showed you this before. We will uh, take another look here and try and figure out if this is patterns from logging and uh, industrial operations, or if it, uh, agriculture as well, maybe, or if it's uh, something else or if it's um, uh, some type of modern uh, leg of this ongoing uh, gibberish thing. So I, it's, it's possible. But this is the area, and you see the vastness of it. Quick look back in time. Um, Similar to Bolivia and uh, Scotland a little bit. Um, okay, it's not loading the historical photo for this area. Um, it's all right. Uh, it's other areas as well. You see the pattern. And... 400 p.m., yes. <laughs> what? Well, how is this useful? So we're not really getting uh, much of a historical look back. Um, we've got these streaky patterns, the more organic patterns, and then also the gr more grid looking pattern. And no luck on the historical photos here, at least not right now. Um, and just showing you the scale of it, yeah, yeah. Certainly could be dozers or something. Um, squiggles, squirrel, squirrels, uh, odd, odd uh, twists and turns. Sometimes parallels, sometimes more. Um, blah blah blah. And. It's, uh, I guess I don't need to show you too much more, but it's basically this whole, and I think we do see people right here. So it could be they're just going along year by year, decade by decade, and just totally uh, demolishing the area, more or less. Um, but here's some of the patterns. S looking similar to that squiggle I showed you in uh, Bolivia by Lake Titicaca, uh, somewhat. I think, um, but yeah, the scale of it is impressive, although it could still just be uh, modern humans going to town over the last century or two. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, so it's, uh, the idea is it's basically this whole area, which is about 70 miles across, I think. And here's a straight, like a straight, very long straight path here with, um, along this path we have uh, this pattern, which could certainly be just tractors or uh, industrial, um, whatchamacallits. 
dozers or something. Or land movers or what, whatever. Earth movers. Interesting pattern to be sure. With, like with these little... So yeah, definitely looking to me here like that Bolivia squiggly area, I would say. Could be the same modern technique used elsewhere. But like these circular things and it just seems uh seems odd. Maybe just all these people going out and doing their thing. Very likely. I don't know. Let's move on. New Jersey. This one's pretty interesting. Let's um, let's go over here and take a look. Well, first of all, what do we got in the picture? We got uh, these goofy uh, patterns, and then the angular, uh, strange angular twists and turns of the river, and then of course the parallel grooves across in multiple orientations. Could be any number of conventional explanations explanations for that, but let's go to Google Earth. And it's basically, the idea is, it's the whole uh, coastline, basically the whole east coast. We're seeing whole east coast of the US, we're seeing uh, stuff like this, gridded areas. Um, and many odd channels, old grid. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find that exact area with the weird shapes and stuff. But it's pretty much the same thing everywhere, or similar things. Um, real quick look back in time, see what we got here. See if it looks the same. 1995, yes, looks the same. Basically, hasn't changed. Some areas of coast change pretty rapidly, and some hold their shape depending on the conditions in the local area. Um, here, just everywhere, basically. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta be careful, and, uh, actually, I don't even have any place marks here, but this whole area is, uh, that, and it's not just the channels, but also these little, um, well, these little sh shapes, shapelets in between, like these goobery, um, Ugh, I, I'm, a, I'm at a loss for words. We don't really have words for these shapes, like blo bloblets, these bloblets, globular globules, connected by little channel roads. See, if this isn't a strange pattern, I don't quite know what is. Um, and uh, that's basically the gist of it. Um, and then, uh, well, quick look back in time, see if those shapes are, have been around for a while. 1995, yes, the shapes look like they've all been there. Uh, same deal since 95. Sometimes you'll see the shapes change, which means they're, they're just making multiple passes over the area and redo, redoing it. But uh, just at first glance, it's looking like these uh, shapes are holding their form. However, I just saw, see, keep your eye on right here. Uh, it's there in 2018. It's not there in 1995, but a lot of these are. So again, either it's an ongoing gibberish protocol thing, which slowly but surely adds new crap into the mix. Or this is just, see like this one, this, this appears in the last 20 years when, let's see exactly when. Uh, it's there in 2010, 2008, 2007 it's there, 2006 it's there, 2003, uh, 2002 it's there, I'm looking at this right here. And, uh, but 1995, we don't see it, could, could just be covered up maybe, uh, Or, uh, or it could be new work within the last 20 or 30 years. So, um, 
Yes, some of this is new, we must admit, or I must admit. Looking kind of like, almost like alien symbols, yeah? I don't know. Uh, or like a, a more messy version of that. Not quite linguistic. Still pretty weird, I would say. And... Uh, I can't show you too much more of this, otherwise the video will get too long. But the the scale and the uh, the angular turns, I don't know how old the, the angular aspect of it is. At least 1995, but... Um, I mean, crews have been doing pretty heavy-duty stuff to the landscape since the Industrial Revolution and before, um, apparently, so it could just be the cumulative effect of that kind of stuff, but uh, on and on it goes, so, uh, yeah, patterns and grids and um, strangenesses along New Jersey and Delaware and Long Island and uh, all along the East Coast, Florida, Texas, Louisiana. Okay, let's move on. New Jersey, got it. France, similar thing. Goofy patterns uh, here. I'm willing to bet that some of these will sh show up as modern. Um, see, uh, multiple uh, styles of uh, pattern here. And... I'm going to go with, uh, this is probably modern, but let's take a look real quick. Here we are in France. Zoom out and show you where we are. Um, here, northern France it looks like. And uh, mouth of this river. And many small ponds I find interesting. Those have been here since 2007 at least I'm seeing uh, yeah oh didn't new one show up see any new ones oh come on clouds I don't think I see any new ones but anyways these uh, many small ponds or lakes uh, for starters and then also we have these patchy scrape marks and goofy patterns so this is definitely looking like something that could be modern Two thousand seven. It's there. Does it look the same though? Could it be different passes of more or less the same pattern? Yeah, it looks like it was redone in sometime around two thousand sixteen or so, because uh, it looks a little washed out or faded in two thousand fifteen. Then two thousand seven, it's more defined. So it looks like they they did it in the early two thousands, and then they're redoing it periodically sometime around 2016 and however many times in between so okay I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time uh, that's why I'm trying to kind of talk faster on this one get her done uh, goofy patterns how goofy a little goofy and it's entirely different than it was in 2007. So, this is just modern something or other. Um, if, it, if it does turn out that it's some type of ongoing protocol, I'll feel vindicated. But again, I, I don't know how, uh, how likely that is for these examples that are uh, coming up recent. Um, let's go down the river a bit and see these uh, more old grid and goofy patterns. Okay, so we've got 
strange patterns. Patchiness. Yeah, this has got to be recent. Yeah, it was trees in 2007. Now it's whatever this is. I just wonder what they're doing. Sometimes I wonder if there's crews. Like, what if there there has to be an illusion of progress for um, for civilization to sit, to stay under a th threshold level of development so that we always have to see cranes on the skyline. We always have to see... Um, uh, big industrial uh, things moving and uh, something always has to be uh, happening. So what if what if it's like a, a never-ending repattern and repattern and repattern and repattern? Um, just uh, just a thought. Again, 5% mm, chance that that's the case. Because, I mean, I've lived by the beach my whole life and I've seen it change and it's not, it doesn't appear to be anything... Uh, other than just standard stuff, uh, but uh, no strong conclusions. Many small ponds, a little, a little odd. I will say that. And let's wrap up this area and move on. Small ponds are there in 2004, looking more or less the same, and fantastic, okay. Alright, let's go to a different area. Uh, yeah, I don't want to get sidetracked. Okay, so that was France, sorry if that's all modern. Italy, I'm thinking this must be modern as well, and another, a new word I learned recently was, uh, I guess it's not new, but I had forgotten it. Uh, reclamation, like when the city or the county or whatever is reclaiming land that has been lost to uh, decades or centuries of erosion um, or years. And uh, it's just an ongoing effort to reclaim areas that are const constantly eroding. So that's why we see these build-outs of, uh, of barriers and, and whatnot. So I'm going to guess that at least some of this is modern. Um, these channels could just be dredges or uh, trawling or something. Uh, I'll show you the channels here. They're slightly um, out of place, as, as I would call them. Um, but let's go there. So here we are. Um, this spot in Italy. And we have these uh, oval islands or if you want to call them islands, uh, we have these uh, channels, multiple channels with uh, lines across and stuff like that, and uh, submerged linear features, angular stuff. Tough to tell like what's a wall and what's a, just a mound of dirt laid. Mm. And I think I've covered this one before. So, again, I'll try to keep it as brief as possible. This is what we would call a tombolo, uh, an island, and then the mainland, and then uh, land accumulating along a, uh, an area of wave uh, convergence or um, constructive wave energy bending around the island. Uh, I'm fairly certain that's what gives this coastline its shape. I was considering that it's like swept, and I'm still considering that um, less confident, and I think I already addressed that anyways, so we'll talk about that. Um, but uh, let's give a quick historical photo look here, like something went around the island, but not necessarily uh, anything other than like a dredge that just maintains the, the area. Um, how many? feet across. Is it 20 feet? Yeah, like, that's feasible for modern stuff, so. 2003, looking similar, um, looks like water level has changed a bit. This is either, uh, the water, either the water level is, uh, lowering, or this, and this is emerging or more dirt was laid, or 
uh, or something made another pass along the, the edge of this oval. Again, why this shape? I don't know, it could be arbitrary. I've, I've worked a lot of jobs and the instructions you get in jobs don't always make sense, so... <laughs> Sometimes you just you're just given a task to to keep you busy, you know. So it's like they might not have put too much thought into the type of barrier that they build. They might just build it. Let's check out this guy right here. Been there since 2003. Doesn't mean much. Looks like it may have been slightly maintained or improved. See, I don't see why you would need so many grooves side by side, which makes me um, lean towards the whole gibberish thing or, or nearly sensical, nearly coherent. Um, and of course, this long channel and the, all the long channels around the world um, might be able to see some stuff submerged. But, uh, uh, like right here, maybe, I don't know. Like, yeah, this channel here is whatever. Um, like you'll see lots of areas like this where there's a, a border around the whole interior of the, uh, of the land. Or, like, sometimes one or two borders. So I think, um, Judging or uh, going off an article I read about the San Francisco Bay, there's a, a dredge that maintains uh, the area or multiple multiple of them. And they just, every single day um, for years on end, they just maintain coast. So, uh, that's this area. Whatever's going on is going on. So, awesome. This little wall thing has been there since 2003. So it's this for what it's worth. It really is too bad we can't see older photos in most cases. Okay, let's move on. Italy, Scotland. Okay, I'm not going to tour you through here just because I've done it once or twice already or three times, but um, the, the stone walls. Uh, the massive scale of that, and the uh, deep, uh, wide, large-scale wavy grooves here, which I, which I would say is similar to what we were seeing in Papua. Go back to that real quick. Um, so this thing, this pattern, uh, this is a suspicious pattern to me, uh, based on um, this pattern in Scotland. Uh, which is similar to other places as well. And here, like on, on these types of places, like these ridges, like it looks to be a rocky ridge and it looks like the, the wavy um, pattern is affecting that as well. So it's um, a pretty um, heavy duty operation is what I'm trying to say, I guess. It's uh, not just working over the dirt, but the rock as well, perhaps. So if that's the case, then it's uh, it's it's pretty WTF to me. Uh, just a different view of it here, and patches of trees in odd angles. Um, we see that quite a bit. There's a chance that that's part of this protocol somehow, uh, part, part, uh, especially if it's ongoing. Uh, many have mentioned that the trees in Russia and the Amazon are actually quite young. Um, and we, we uh, well, I may need to fact check that, but uh, there aren't that many old trees on Earth, and they're not very old. So it's like, why, why not? So I wonder if there's some type of replanting and reforesting going on as well. But yeah, the wavy lines some of which may be modern here. Um, this is uh, the extreme example of it. Photograph, uh, not satellite photograph, um, aerial photograph of 
these groovies, car for reference, size reference, and another photo here. I already discussed this. San Clemente, I want to take you here real quick just to get see if you see what I see. Um, so this is obviously looking somewhat similar at least to Scotland and uh, Papua a little bit and also uh, Peru here. Um, but let's go look at each uh, San Clemente and Peru then afterwards. So it's, it's this area of San Clemente, California, Southern California, Orange County. And um, so we've got these housing uh, areas. This is kind of a new development area. So we're, we're going to go back to 1994 and take a look. I think I took you through here once already in a previous video. But uh, I would call this a strange pattern. The, uh, the caveat or the asterisk is this is probably just before they started building those homes. So, um, uh, so it's very possible that um, these are le uh, levelings and land workings for um, preparing the land for, you know, whatever you got to do to build homes on top of. So it's possible that that's the case. And then it's no longer there in uh, 2002. By 2002, it's all, it's all gone. So no more, nothing to look at before or after. Um, one thing I do want to touch on real quick. Um, let's see, yeah, stuff like this. Uh, there's these trails that aren't trails. Um, like this is the trail and then up the hillside we have these these grooves like this and these have been here a while um, they're pretty large they look wider than a vehicle uh, even a big earth mover but um, measure it real quick it could be just uh, the big earth movers like there were no roads for earth movers to travel up to to prepare this land up here so the first operations to uh, develop these areas must have had some, some type of off-roading going on. And here you see a straight one, uh, just a wide groove. Another one over um, here. Uh, these are not foot trails. These are uh, this as well. This is not a trail um, that's accessible. Another one here, like and just kind of curls up and that's the end of it. Uh, so I, I wonder um, if, uh, if this is either the earth movers doing their, uh, their thing or the, uh, I don't know the technical term, but the big, big tractors and, and whatnot. The, the first traverses or um, first uh, trails they took, paths they took up to the the place they would develop the land, or if it's again gibberish patterns, or if it's um, pre pre parceling of, of land. See, it looks the same in 1994, so it's been there a while, hasn't eroded, um, and uh, where were we just looking? But anyways, uh, just there's a slight chance that it's part of this uh, resurfacing, terraforming, possibly even up, uh, ongoing. But uh, I'm 25-75 uh, leaning more towards the uh, down-to-earth explanation that, uh, that it's just the, the first vehicles that... Uh, repurposed the area in when they were developing it a few decades ago. Okay, um, Peru. Let's take a quick scroll around here. Here we are. Uh, zoom out. Get our bearings. Um, somewhere north of this lake. Uh, pretty f Okay. Okay, wherever it is. Uh, Here we are, and uh, 
just the vastness of it. Vast, vast, vast area. Uh, lines and patterns, vast area. So we've got waviness, similar to Papua, actually, a little bit. And I think there was better contrast in the, the past images. Actually, 1969, don't get much. 2012, looking basically the same. And I think we're dealing with stone walls and some type of earth. Um, uh, working over. So a little of both. Like this is uh, the wavy lines or the working over. And then you've got like these walls or fences. Patchy lines, vast area. Wonder how much of this is new. Patchiness might be new. Um, might just be somebody's plot. But uh, it's the underlying squiggles and waves that I'm mostly looking at. Like all this. And again, the scale of it. Yes, we do see people, and I don't know how much of this they're responsible for. So, is what it is. And some channels across the river here might be practical. Stone walls. Kind of miscellaneous patterns here. And pretty vast area. Okay, that's enough. Next up, uh, Salton Sea. This is modern stuff. Um, so I'll, I'll just show you real quick the... Uh, patterns and same thing with the San Francisco Bay example these are these appeared recently they do appear to be strange and not make a whole lot of sense but I'll just show you uh, give you a quick look at them so here's the Salton Sea in Southern California and it's this coastline some old grid looking stuff um, we'll see it is new some of these patterns look they, like they've been here a few decades but then we see some of these lines popping up recently. Like, uh, let's see if we can get a good look at that. Yeah, like this area has changed drastically. Like it used to just be these wavies. Uh, once again, somewhere between a 5 and 25% chance. Still holding out some type of... Uh, I, don't, I wouldn't say hope, but... Um, Entertaining the idea that these are just, they're just working over their patterns for, their, for its own sake. Uh, See, so these are newish. But again, there's many terracing techniques, so uh, it's probably more likely that this is a dud. It's uh, still interesting to study, though, as uh, just to suss out what's worth looking at and what's not. Um, I would say the inconsistency in the patterns is noteworthy. Um, I don't know that it's necessarily suspicious. Uh, these could just be uh, like flow uh, flow directors, like th try things trying to direct rainwater for whatever the purpose is of this of each particular plot patch. But uh, a lot of that's new, or most of it, all of it. And uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. So I think a lot of the old grid stuff is a false alarm, maybe. Um, this is kind of old gritty. Uh, all right, let's check out San Francisco Bay. So here's San Francisco Bay, and uh, here's these weird patterns. 
Um, and they, it's very possible that they serve some kind of purpose. I mean, why else would they be there other than the hypothesis of being purposefully purposeless? But uh, we see, we do see that they show up around like, uh, what is it, 2009? 2010, yeah, so here they're starting to construct them in 2009, and then by 2012, 2000, I think by 2010 they're finished, or they're still underway. Uh, why there's multiple different patterns, I don't know, could just be an indus industry technique. Uh, but yeah, just showing them. Not everything that looks weird is weird. Um, again, we do see some odd channels over here. Just, uh, I would say, like the straight stretch and these straight. Like interior, the interior of the the island is lined with a river that follows the exterior of the island. I just think it's kind of strange. Like we have multiple multiple shorelines, like one, two, three, four, for this island. It's slightly strange, and then one channel right up the middle. Uh, Could be uh, could be old patterns. Could might not be. No view in 1939, 2003 looking basically the same, and they look pretty crisp. I don't know actually. Whatever. Let's move on. Kansas. I want to give a quick look at. Uh, not the most fun thing, uh, just because I'm saying it's like a strange pattern that's not strange, or that's probably not uh, otherworldly or unusual in uh, explanation. But let's go just take a brief look at the whole uh, Midwest of the U.S. So just kind of enter entertaining the idea again with the idea that... that uh, some areas are pre-parceled or pre-worked over. I kind of get get the vibe when I look at stuff like this that it's uh, uh, pre-worked over prior to our activity on top of it. However, very, very possible that my instinct is off. Because, I mean, this has been farmland for quite a while now, so it should it should look worked over without any like this is some of the uh, the terracing that they do to manage water yeah, I mean, I'm still considering that this whole area is like worked over or f flattened, like sheared flat and then prepared for civilization or uh, any number of things, but uh Mm. <laughs> Just give my, giving my annoyingly inconclusive opinion that it's uh, mostly, if not entirely, modern. Okay, I don't know how many, how much value I can offer you here. Uh, let's just cut the thread. Don't want to show you this right now, it's just kind of terracing anyways, this kind of stuff. Uh, however, in I, I, is Isla, Isla de Alagranza in Spain, we have some of this stuff. It uh, appears to be rock walls, stone, stone walls or something, and um, odd uh, ridges in uh, kind of some straight, some curved, odd patterns. 
Um, here they are. And I want to take you over there and uh, give it a quick look. Here we are. It is uh, off. Well, I don't know why I said Spain. Maybe it is part of Spain. But um, it looks like it's off the coast of Africa. Uh, so we've got these long ridges. Here, could be some type of retaining wall to prevent mudslides that occurred to me. Looks like it might have even broken here from a mudslide. Very possible. Um, however, that's not consistent here because this one's like enclosed. And I don't know why you would need uh, an enclosed retaining wall like this. Like these make more sense. Uh, another one right here, here, maybe, maybe not, uh, but here, and here. Uh, fairly certain there's some kind of stone wall, possibly Roman, and don't even get me started on Rome. I have a lot to say about Rome, uh, but here's those, uh, Patterns all along the, the hillsides. And nobody here really. It doesn't appear to be farms. Kind of like a fingerprinty type pattern. Or just kind of wavy terraciness. And here an enclosed one with a line in the middle. So not particularly consistent with a retaining wall. Um, Although that could be a scarecrow argument since there's no, it's, it doesn't necessarily have to be a retaining wall, it could be anything. Uh, these might be like coral deposits or something. And you can make up your own mind what you think this is because it's not many people and just a bunch of stone stuff. I think it's similar to uh, Peru and Bolivia situation where it's just rock walls after rock walls um, lining the landscape uh, for some type of aspect of this uh, large scale program or protocol or project that I don't really have a good word for. Possible modern structures here. Let's take a very quick look back in time for these terraces. Two thousand looks the same. Yeah. So I think these are old walls. Uh, how about these ridges? Yeah, any kind of like old Roman walls that like line islands and just random areas uh, are highly suspect for a number of reasons that I'll get into. Um, let's move on though. So that was Isla de Alegranza in Spain or Africa something. And Myanmar, I'm not going to talk about this right now. Already did. England, blotchy patchy and possible wavy. Isle of Man, I do want to take a quick look at. Um, so, uh, just the patchiness and the worked over land. So let's go real quick. So it's right here between what Ireland and England and uh, patchy blotchy. Same thing we've seen before. Um, it's just the the sheer variety of strange uh, blotchiness shapes. Um, it's very um, eccentric or uh, like no, almost no rhyme or reason to it. Um, which could point to uh, an organic explanation like some, like people just going out periodically uh, processing a random part of land for their purposes or whatever. Um, let's take a historical look back. And wouldn't surprise me if some of this stuff is modern. Okay. 
Um, yeah, the squiggles are new. What about this patch? That patch looks like it was not there. These patches, how about these patches? Those are new as well. Okay. So again, this, uh, the look of it is weird. Um, let's see. The letter E. <laughs> I mean, not really, but it's like the letter E made out of weird, uh, pretty weird patches. And I did see the letter P, or what appeared to be the letter P somewhere else. Um, and just slight, I mean, and it's, it's relatively new anyways. Uh, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, that's an interesting shape, definitely. Uh, and possible much air underneath or whatever. Yeah, this is where that still image was, and, um, yeah, these must be new. Yep, they're new. The parallel lines, however, have been here a while, seems like, the or these, uh, curved parallel streaks go to today, and looking pretty much the same, uh, so either ongoing protocol or just uh, conventional modern stuff, no big deal, nothing to see here type of thing. Uh, these walls, how old are these? Kind of old. Again, we do have all the stone circles and mounds and uh, hinges and weird stuff in England and Scotland, so I'm wondering if this is associated with that somehow. These walls and parallel lines I don't see them oh, going like multiple 2006 and today still see the parallel lines anyways um, okay so yeah see these parallel lines digging pretty deep see uh, and even over the river over here it seems like and Like this, this doesn't seem like a purposeful maneuver. And like this thing right here, this wall, or like this right here, seems like some kind of old nonsense. Uh, seeing if it's still there in 20, 2006. This right here, just checking real quick. Arrgh. Not seeing, maybe it might just be the lighting because it looks like something's there almost. Uh, 2012 looks like it's there. Anyways, these uh, these deep grooves, like this very deep groove going across. Um, slightly strange. Leading me to believe that the entire landscape may be uh, may have been given a makeover that we're not privy to. Um, know what I'm saying? Like the, even these little tick marks here. Uh, yep. And 2006 is the earliest we got, and it looks like we've still got all these parallel lines going. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, that might be our last example. Uh, let me check real quick. Yes, that's our last example. Um, I don't know how much we uh, learned in this video, but um, uh, number one, I kind of apologize for not uh, doing the historical photos beforehand um, on more of these. I'm just trying to kind of do a lot and get the videos out faster, so doing some of it on the fly. Um, and number two, um, I don't know if there's a number two, but uh, more content 
coming soon, so uh, I'll catch you later.